What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be quickly installing this map sensor from Bosch for the Speed 3. Uh, first step, just take off connections for your battery. Uh, I already have my battery out because we're doing the turbo swap and just wrapping it all up. So this is the last step actually for me. So let me show you where the map sensor is located. Basically this connector sits kind of right here. It's kind of hard to see because I have a front man intercooler. It'll sit right here. I popped that off with a flathead screwdriver and moved it over, but it would be on the other side of this bolt. So you might, you probably gonna want to take your intercooler off if you have a top mount, just so you can move this over and be easier to get to. It is a seven millimeter bolt and uh, I'm not sure if I can get a good angle on that. I'm, I'll just uh, put up pictures for this, but basically basically it's just uh, that one bolt and it's gonna sit right here. And then there's also going to be a plug that you wanna unplug from the harness. And then basically it's just plug and play. So I'm gonna do that real quick. If I run into any issues, I'll let you know just to give you a quick tip on how not to run into those issues. So with that being said, let me get that out real quick and we'll go from there. Here is the OEM map sensor. Now what I did is after I got that seven millimeter bolt out, I pulled it out, pull it up just a little bit. You can easily use a flathead to get off the connector. And then basically what we're gonna do is just switch it in with the new one. Just a quick tip, to get the bolt started, what I kind of did is I went at it like this. So kind of go behind you with your right arm and it, it feels a little more natural for me going at it like that. Um, so you could give that a shot. If it doesn't work, then find another way. I don't know. You can see right in there, sitting right there. Then all you have to do is just move over your cables and your harnesses back to where they were. And that's really it. That should be pretty easy install. The Corkswart website says that it should take a half hour. It took me 15 minutes. Um, most time consuming part for me was just filming. I gotta go get that phone guys, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned, the Corkswart Turbo is in there and we're gonna have some more reviews and videos soon. Talk soon, peace.